Hey everybody, this is Sean and I'm saying welcome to Stat 243Z in the spring term. I know it's not even the end of winter term yet. You're probably thinking, why is he sending me this video so early? Um, I just found out this week the math department is um, going to get kicked out of our building. This is Grandview Hall on the Ben campus. Um, end of this week because of some electrical malfunction that the school has to fix and if they're going to fix it over spring break which is great except for the fact that spring break is very often when a lot of us get our work done for the spring term so not having access to my recording equipment or power or can't even log in remotely to my computer next term so i'm trying to get as much done as i can front loaded before spring break so that's why you're getting this video so early um if you're sick of watching it already, you can just hit pause and watch it sometime before the start of spring term, which I think is April 1st. In the back part of this video, I'm going to walk you through Canvas, even though I'm not going to turn Canvas on just yet. I'll turn it on closer to April 1st. I don't want to confuse you with a course popping into Canvas while you're still in the middle of the courses for winter term. So I'll turn it on kind of at the end of, uh, at the end of next week. Um, but I just wanted to kind of give you an intro to the course, kind of what it's going to look like in Canvas, which is where most of our stuff is going to be. You can always shoot me an email if you have any questions, even though I won't be able to get to my email until the end of spring break. But by all means, put any concerns you have in there. And uh, let's dive in and take a look at Canvas. Okay, friends. So here, I think, anyway, is what you see when you're in Canvas. I've got it set to student view, so this should be what you see. Um, basically... Uh, the course is going to be arranged th week by week in the modules area. I've got the home screen set to go to modules, so that's where you pop in here and you see week one, week two, week three, week four. Um, I've stopped, I I'm in the process of redoing this course online. Um, the state of Oregon recently changed the old, what was known as Math 243 to Stat 243Z, which meant that quite a bit of the course had to change. So I'm currently um, in the process of making those changes. So I'm going to keep uploading videos as I'm able to make them. Uh, probably each week you'll see more and more modules show up. Um, as far as the beginning of the course, you're, you're probably watching this close to the beginning of week one or right around week one. Um, what you want to do in the beginning of the course is to get into the syllabus that's right here linked first. Let's pop this thing open and look at it with you real quick. Yeah, it's a PDF. I've I've noticed that generally speaking, it's it's better to open these things outside of Canvas and then look at them that way. Um, I've not had a whole lot of luck with the uh, with the Canvas reader for PDFs and especially um, Excel spreadsheets. Um, and that's something else we're going to get into. You're going to be playing with Excel in this course. If you haven't ever before, not to worry. I assume you haven't. I'm going to teach you how to use it best I can. But this is the syllabus. You're going to want to go through this. And if you need guidance, if you hate reading documents that are information dense like this one, I'm going to close this down and take you back to the modules. Um, I am going to give you the Canvas scavenger hunt, which is something that you have to do. I want to mention this now. You do need to submit this for me. Uh, before Friday, April 5th uh, at 10 a.m. That is the online um, attendance requirement that I have to have all my students do. So make sure that this is a, it's a, well, you can pop it open and look at it. And this is what things are going to look like when you turn things in in this course. Um, Canvas is a little bit clunky, and I, I apologize um, for that. Uh, I, this is way busier than I think it should look. Pretty much everything in this course is going to look similar to this. Uh, it's going to have the, the title up here. Um, I give you unlimited uh, attempts to submit something. So if you submit it and then you decide that you need to do it again, just submit it again. Um, each assignment is going to have a PDF alongside of it. So what you're going to do is you're going to open that PDF up. And this puppy dog is going to have the, the questions you have to do. Okay, I'm not going not gonna to read it to you right now. You'll read that later. And then what you're going to want to do is once you open that thing up, give me a second here, let me get back to it. There you go. You're going to answer just the questions in a separate document, only your answers numbered. That's it. You don't have to copy paste the questions. I don't want you to actually. I don't want you to print the pages off and then handwrite them and then rescan them. Just give me your answers. If you want to handwrite, that's also fine. You don't have to actually use a Word document or a PDF or anything. You can just handwrite your documents and submit that. I say submit a Word doc. It could also be, a, like I said, a, 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 an image file, a picture that you've taken. Um, looks like you can either, this is 
nothing. I don't even know why they have that there. Uh, you either drag your file here or click on it and then go look for the file wherever you uh, wherever you keep it. Um, I don't know what this stuff is over here. Webcam photo. I don't know why you would use that. You're probably going to use this option here. And then once you once you do that, you click on submit assignment, and that means I get it on my end. And that's how you're going to submit pretty much everything in this course. Now, as far as the beginning of the course goes, this week one, definitely go through these two things first, the syllabus and the Canvas scavenger hunt. I would kind of do them both kind of at the same time. Um, check out the syllabus document. A lot of the answers to the Canvas scavenger hunt are in the syllabus document. Some of them are also on the, uh, the little sidebar over here. And then we get into the course proper. Now, in the course, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a heads up here and then you're gonna learn more as you go. The, since it's an online course, and I don't use textbooks because that's a hell of a racket. I don't want to submit you to any other expenses unless, like, except for the ones you already have. Um, this is all video playlists. So day one, click on this playlist right here. It's going to take you out to a YouTube playlist. In that, you've got a few videos to watch. I try to keep them relatively short. Yeah, this one's about a minute, two and a half minutes, two minutes, a minute and a half, six minutes, and six minutes. So what is that? A grand total about 20, 20 to 25 minutes or something like that. Just hit play all, and you'll see me kind of walking through the videos with you. There you go. It looks the same as the guy, except I got an Abby's visor on there where I had a Wendy's visor on earlier. And that's pretty much what you're going to do. You're going to go through these videos, watch them beginning to end. Then you're going to do the homework for that day. And homework is going to look, this page is going to look just the same as it did for that Canvas scavenger hunt. It's going to have a PDF you're going to open. I'm going to open this in a new tab over here. Okay, there's a PDF document. It's going to have some questions on it. When it opens, give it a second to open. Oh, you know what? The hell with you. I'm going to open it this way. All right. Uh, and then you're going to answer these questions. Remember, just give me your answers in a document. So number one answer, number two, answer, number three, answer, so forth and so on and so forth. Uh, homeworks are 10 points. You'll learn a little bit more about homeworks when you're in the um, in the Canvas scavenger hunt. And then you're going to upload that document to, six to load, you're going to upload that document to the area for day one. A couple other things each week. I've tried to put these little dividers here. Um, when I do the class in person, I, I meet my students twice a week. So I try to break each week into two discrete areas, day one, day two. I think down here I get into day three, day four. Yep, that's week uh, in week two. Um, so you've got some dividers there that are going to divide day one and, or the first day of the week from the second day of the week. But both days are kind of similar. You watch a, watch a playlist of videos, go through them. There we go, right here. And then you're going to do the, uh, the homework assignment for that playlist of videos. Now, real quick, and this is mentioned in the... Um, in the syllabus as well. There's also quizzes listed each week. The homeworks you have to do, and they're going to be due on Fridays at 10 a.m. The quizzes, you don't have to do every quiz. The rule I have set aside for quizzes is you have to do 10 of them before the end of the term. And this is all in the syllabus. You'll see this when you read through the syllabus, okay? So you have to do the homeworks. You got to do all the homeworks and everything is due on a given week. Anything that's in a week that's due is going to be due on the Friday of that week. That's why all these things say April 5th, April 5th, April 5th, April 5th. That's Friday of week one. In week two, everything's due April 12th, 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 12th. In week three, everything's due April 19th, 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 and so forth and so on. Okay? So the quizzes are a little bit weird. It takes some getting used to, but you do not have to do every single quiz that I offer. You have to do 10 by the end. Many students do more because they, they view them as a way to get their grades up. And you'll, you'll read more about them in the syllabus. Okay, my friends, that is what Canvas basically looks like. This Excel calculator you can ignore. I think we get into it actually in week three is when you show up with the Excel calculator. Um, but I think that'll get you started. Like I said, I'm not gonna turn Canvas on, I think anyway, until March 28th. That's what I made the, uh, the setting look like right here. But I also noticed that I, there's a box here that I didn't check. But I, so I don't know if you'll actually see this in your, I don't know. I, don't, I honestly don't know how this part of Canvas works. I'll make sure it's up and running by the time I can get back into my computer. How's that sound? <laughs> Otherwise, have yourselves a great spring break, and I'll talk to you super soon.